note to self, if you ever take a taxi in Bangkok in the morning, make sure you do it at 6 a.m. latest. I ordered mine at 6.30. Been in the car for an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, that's right. Yo, we got fam in Bangkok and we are headed home. Back to Chiang Rai. He's scooping me up. We got sister Om in the car waiting we got a too. Back car with a dog. Yeah. So I gotta catch you guys up on my health and what's going on. We don't have Burger King in Chiang Rai, so I kinda was a bad if I was like, yeah, I, gotta, I gotta get it now. <laughs> right, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in Chiang Rai, guys. Not too long, but who knows? So Okay guys, quick little pit stop. We're about to eat some Thai food. It's gonna be a 10 hour drive, guys, going up to Chiang Rai. I left my selfie stick in the car. You guys know I haven't been vlogging. I haven't vlogged in months, but I'm back on it. I wanna show you guys this amazing experience and what's going on in my life right now, where I've been. Just wanna kinda update you guys. And I've been very sick for a little while. I'm gonna get more into detail with what's going on with that. I'm with my buddy Steven and his wife, Om. You guys saw them earlier. We're getting food here at this pit stop and we're on our way to Chiang Rai. So cute. What? what is this, bro? What are you eating? Uh, pork and uh, and what's this called? Mm -hmm. It's Steve. like a it's like a bean. It's like a it's Not good. Bean. Steven in the house. Omi in the house. <laughs> oh, you got pork soup? Yeah. Look, Om got some soup too. Guys, I gotta be careful with what I eat now. I told you guys I've been sick, so I am officially diagnosed with GERD. I have GERD, acid reflux. My diet, everything has changed this past month and a half. I've been eating like an old person and I can't eat a lot of things. I can't eat garlic, I can't eat onions, I can't eat things that are exasperating it. Today, my symptoms are pretty bad. What causes acid reflux? Mm -hmm. Eating the way I eat, I eat spicy every day. You guys know me, I love to eat and I eat spicy things. I eat late at night. I eat sour things, but I've done this all my life and now it's starting to affect me more because of stress. That is the main cause. And I'll go into that and tell you guys what's been stressing me out, why I am the way I am now, and what's going on in my life. So love you guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned because I'm gonna give you guys all the information you want in this video, okay? Love you and miss you. I'm eating hakana. Guys, this is kale. Stir fried kale with chicken, got an egg on it. I can't eat garlic anymore, like I said. So the flavor is not all the way fully there, Thai style, you know, but uh, gotta eat healthy. I don't even eat that much rice anymore. since I got here as always you guys know everything happens for a reason and I just realized that that vlog that I just did that you guys just saw right now I didn't really get too much into detail about everything that happened so I do want to explain to you guys that when I went back to the US I went with for a reason you know and um, I had a lot going on lately a lot of you guys don't know but when I originally moved out here to Thailand my original plan was to bring my dogs with me 
and it was gonna be a little bit tough, right? You have to figure out the logistics, how you can do these things. So when I came, I didn't think the channel was gonna blow up the way that it did. And um, either way, I had my dog set up in a way to where when I go back to America, I get them back. Or when I figure it out, I could bring him here, I could bring him here. Sadly, a few months ago, and I did mention this in one of my other videos, my Doberman passed away. It hurts me a lot. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I'm a big dog guy. I used to train dogs when I was in Georgia. And I mean, I had my dogs every single day. People knew me, oh, that's a guy with the dogs. I was always with my dogs. It was my life, hiking, training, just hanging out with buddies with dogs. Um, when I was in America, my Doberman that passed away was my service animal. Uh, she helped me out a lot. You know, I lived alone with her for a while. I had her for six years. You know, she passed away at seven years now. And she was literally like my life, you know? And then I ended up getting another dog. I got a Dogo Argentino. When I ended up coming here to Thailand, he was a little bit over a year old. That's a whole nother story. So I have a lot of explaining to do, guys. I'm not gonna bombard you just in this video, but the reason I was stressed was because my Doberman passed away and I just started missing my dogs a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was figuring out a way, either I'm gonna go back to America so I can be with them or bring them here. But with COVID and all the stuff that happened recently, transferring pets has been really hard, you know? So I was like in a battle with like, letting go of YouTube and just going back to America or keep doing YouTube. But the way I had it set up too, especially with my Dogo Argentino was, when I get back, I'm gonna have my dog, you know? My Doberman's gone now, sadly. The thing that stressed me out mainly was when I went back to USA, I went looking for my Dogo because the guy that had him, he's been dodging me since I came. You know, I thought he was somebody that I could trust, but he's been dodging my calls. I contacted him while I was in Thailand once. After that, I couldn't hear from him ever again. I tried to hit him up through Instagram and he knew the rules, you know, we made a deal. So I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but we had a deal. And you know, he acted like a friend. He said that I could take as long as I want, even three years, whatever, my dog would be there. And he started dodging me. So when I went back, my dog wasn't there. You know, we even had a deal. I told him, take him back to my breeder if you couldn't keep him. I'm gonna make a video specifically about my dog, but basically that shot my stress up so much. And that's why I got acid reflux to the level that it is now. So now I'm at a point guys where the stress was so strong. I couldn't work. I couldn't even make a YouTube video. I couldn't do anything. like. You know, when acid reflux hits you really, really bad on top of anxiety, it's super bad. You get cardiac arrest symptoms. So I had to go to the hospital three times within the month that I got back. I arrived back to Thailand on May 8th, texting the guy that had my dog, telling him, hey, I'm coming back. I'm gonna get my dog back. Dude didn't answer me for half a month. So he left me hanging, I was stressed. And when he answered me, he told me I'm not getting my dog back. And I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what he told me in another video and show you proof of everything. Show you why that had me so messed up, guys. So not to bring this negativity upon you guys, but I do want you guys to see that even when something negative happens in your life, something positive can come out of it. And I feel like everything happened for a reason, like especially with the stuff I'm doing now here in Chiang Rai. Guys, it's amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. Stay tuned for the next upcoming vlogs because we're really doing something real now. We're giving back, we're giving back to the Thai people, we're giving back to the community. I found a way that I can help. And this has always been in the back of my mind since I've been in Thailand. I've been talking with people, making connections, and now it's all come full circle. So I'm gonna get more in detail, like I said in the other video, but I just want you guys to know that because of this stress and because of this, I've been in the hospital three times. My acid reflux is so bad where I gotta, I eat like a completely different person now because one little trigger, it'll have me feeling numb, It'll have me feeling sluggish, fatigue, anxiety. They gave me medicine to treat the acid reflux and they also gave me medicine because I wasn't sleeping because I was so stressed. But they gave me lorazepam and some other things that are very, very strong. Although I've suffered with anxiety for a long time, my dogs was my cure when I was in America. You know, my service animals, my emotional support animals, I had my pets with me. But now that I'm in Thailand, I'm out here just solo dolo. I had to make that jump, I had to trust myself. I had to say, hey, I can do this. I gotta be strong and I made that jump. And look at all the good that came out of this jump, guys. And there's way more to come. So I don't regret any decision that I've made. Super grateful. You know, everything happens for a reason. Everything is to make us stronger and to make us better. The medicine that they gave me when I got off of it had crazy side effects. I don't know if you guys know about lorazepam and stuff like that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommending any of this to you guys, by the way. I'm not saying to take it. I'm not advising you to take medicine at all. I don't personally like to take it but I had to take it. My anxiety, my, my it was so bad to the point where I had to take these pills now. Something that I just absolutely always say no to, I felt that I didn't have a choice because I was so bad. So when I got off of it, the side effects were way worse, guys. They gave me fatigue, depression, mood swings, more anxiety, 
I went through the darkest time this past month, guys, that I have almost ever been through in my entire life. You know, on top of that, went through a breakup, had a lot of stuff going on in my life. It was just crazy. Everything happens for a reason. Let's stay positive. I can't wait to show you guys the good that came out of this though, okay? And I want all of us to have hope. If you're going through something crazy, something bad where you feel like there's no hope, don't. Remember that there's always hope. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, man. I love you guys so much. And I'm so excited to show you guys where I'm at right now. The camera's flipped. If I flip the camera, oh my gosh, it's so lit. But you guys are gonna see it in the upcoming vlogs, okay? So super, super happy super grateful for you guys thank you for always being here for me look i want to start posting content on my channel that's real guys you guys know i post little short films here and there music i do things that i like you know i'm not trying to do nothing for clout i'm not trying to do nothing to be number one that's not what we're about but when it comes to doing something real i'm super excited that's why these upcoming videos that are coming you guys are gonna love them so love you guys catch you later enjoy these next videos can't believe that we made it this far. Look, mama, now your son is a star. Can't believe that we made it this far. Standing on the shoulders and gone. When life gets raw. I think about everybody I've been scarred from. I even broke bread even though I should have starved. I'm going out a hero, baby. Come on, come on, zero, baby.